Hi everyone, my name is James Rosile. This is Digital Charcuterie. And if you are excited for the new upcoming Venom film, please give us a subscribe as we will be covering this as information rolls on until the October release of Tom Hardy's superhero film, which I am very much looking forward to. Was not a huge fan of that teaser trailer that we got uh, just over a month ago, I believe it was just over about a month ago, just over a month. I wasn't a huge fan. I thought they could have showed a little bit more. It reminded me a lot of the 90s superhero type films that were almost too gritty. Um, and it doesn't seem in the direction that superhero films have been going right now. Now, this might be Sony's plan. I'm holding out hope for this film. I think it has potential to be a, a great movie. Tom Hardy, obviously, is a fantastic actor. Michelle Williams is fantastic. Riz Ahmed is fantastic. The cast, although Woody Harrelson, of course, going to play a part in this. So I'm holding out hope for it. You know, I'd like to see a, a more significant trailer down the road, something to really show us what's going on. But one of the faults of the trailer that a lot of people felt, and I was kind of split on, and I wanted to see obviously what he looked like, is Venom uh, himself, themselves, is what I was really hoping, is what does the symbiote look like on Eddie Brock? What are they going to do with this character? How are they going to make him look? Because I think in Spider-Man 3, Venom was obviously handled very, very poorly. The look of him, however, was, uh, I thought it was great. I thought he looked fantastic. Um, so I'd like to see what they're going to do with this Tom Hardy one. Will he look similar to that? How are they going to... Is it going to be so CG? Is it going to be uh, makeup effects? What is it going to be practical? You know, like, this is what my questions are. And right now, we haven't heard anything. Now reports are coming out that maybe the reason we haven't seen any Venom is because there is no Venom. Because this movie is, is absent of Venom. And, you know, you go into a Venom movie hoping to see a lot of Venom. Obviously. And the report is saying now at the end of the film, he will don the, the Venom symbiote and will become one with, uh, with Venom, with, with the symbiote to become Venom, to take on the main villain who is a symbiote himself, himself, sorry, and he's a, a, some kind of government official type thing and he's the bad guy of the whole film. So I wanted to think about how this could play a part and how this could work and does it make sense and I, I don't know, I don't know if you'd want to see a Venom movie without Venom, but if they are giving you six symbiotes, symbiotes then then maybe you can do without seeing too much Venom because you'll be distracted by all the other ones and, and the and the possibility of Carnage coming because I, I know I'm excited for Carnage. Who is not excited for some car Carnage in this, right? But so what we've heard so far is that this Venom film is based on two uh, comic arcs of Venom. One is my absolute favorite uh, comic arc of this one right here that you're looking at, and it's Venom Lethal Protector. I, I rode my bike for the release of all six of these i was obsessed with this comic i have i think all of them somewhere still i definitely have i shouldn't say definitely but i had the first one up to a few years ago when i moved and i don't know what happened so this is one of my favorite ones but the the premise of this is that peter parker and eddie brock venom they decide to part ways and not really bother each other too much so long as venom doesn't uh, go back to any criminal ways. So Venom's kind of a, a hero, an anti-hero in this. You take that into consideration and you start to think maybe that that could be the point of this movie. Maybe because we've heard reports that Tom Holland is in this Venom film. What if that is right off the bat and it starts off with, hey, Venom, stop being Venom and go about your business and I'll take care of things here. And so Tom Hardy's like, okay, I've got to kind of rehabilitate my life. And whatnot. The only thing is that doesn't really make sense because Venom has not been established in any any Spider-Man world that we've been, except for Spider-Man Three, obviously. But Venom doesn't exist in the world. Uh, so if this is a if this is the Sony world, but it still is somewhat because of Tom Holland connected to the MCU, Venom still has to kind of live in that world for it to make any sort of sense. So that. That's the only way I can kind of see it happen is that Eddie Brock kind of comes to a part where he's like, okay, I can't be one with a symbiote right now because of this Peter Parker Spider-Man thing. So I'm going to separate from that. And while he's doing that, other symbiotes are going around trying to figure it out. But I don't think that's going to be the case, obviously. I don't know how Tom Holland's going to fit in this. I thought that was kind of a neat way. But I think really, you know, we have the six other symbiotes and maybe, you know, they're around town and maybe there's five and Venom is, is the fifth one. Or sorry, the sixth one. And at the end, you know, and throughout the movie, we've seen obviously the hospital stuff with Eddie Brock and whatnot. And so maybe at some point that's how it ties in. And 
he kind of has this he he comes into possession of a symbiote and that way I, I just I'm trying to wrap my head around making a Venom movie without Venom <clears throat> I love the idea that Carnage could be the end credit tease if that's that's a rumor going around right now is Woody Harrelson is only in the end credits and the tease is he is because it's Cassidy which I totally cool I would be totally fine with that but Venom is the name of your movie and you're not going to show us Venom that just seems in the day and age that we're living, in this superhero day and age that we are living, that seems like the wrong, the wrong path to follow for me personally. I would, I mean, more venom all the time, right? But if you're going to keep costs down, you obviously you have to have less venom. The other comic arc that this is taking place, that this is taking from, is Planet of the Symbiotes. So this was a five-part comic, and this was Earth was invaded by an army of symbiotes. And uh, so Venom teamed up with Spider-Man in this comic, which we're hearing is not going to happen because I think Spider-Man himself is too much. uh, There's too much that the MCU kind of owns of him. But Peter Parker, Tom Holland, they can bring in. So this is where it all gets confusing for me. Is you have these two storylines and Venom, Venom, not Eddie Brock, Venom is at the forefront of both of these comics. And yet in this movie, apparently he's not going to be at the forefront. Again, though, this is just early reports, early rumors coming out at us. I wouldn't. Right now, I'm not going to be too concerned, but when you pair this with that teaser trailer that we just got, I'm starting to think that the year might end on a rough note for superhero films with this one. Uh, but I'm looking forward to the next trailer. I really want it to hit home. I really want this Tom Hardy movie to do well. I love Venom. Like I said, rode my co- my bike to the comic shop to get that series when I was uh, 11, 12 years old, whatever I was. Obsessed with it. I'm a huge Venom guy. Love him. Super excited for him in Spider-Man 3. Obviously, like everybody else, was let down. But, look, man, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is no Venom in the Venom movie a right choice? Or do you think the build-up to the finale and Venom taking form in the finale is the right way to go? Thanks so much, guys. Again, if you like this video, you want to hear more about Venom, other superhero movies coming out, give us a subscribe. We'll be covering them as long as we can because they're coming out. Boom, 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 boom. Can't wait. Infinity War is coming. And then, obviously, Tom Hardy's Venom in October. And until next time, guys. Ciao for now.